Where do you start with a city like Birmingham? And uh, what's happened to Birmingham is such a terrible shame. For those of you not in Britain, it's just declared bankruptcy. Well, a uh, town can't actually go bankrupt, but it is as out of money as the last Labour government was when the Conservative government came in at the end and one of the ministers found a note from his predecessor saying, uh, sorry, old boy, but there's no money left. Uh, that's basically what's happened to Birmingham. And we'll go into why, but I just want to give you a little inkling of the history of Birmingham. In the 19th century, it was, well, it was a village or maybe a collection of hamlets or something. There was hardly anything there. And then for one reason or another to do with the local resources, it started to become an industrial place. The problem was it wasn't, it had no infrastructure. And people were getting water from wells and the water was coming off the uh, polluted effluent of both an increased population and rather dirty uh, industries. And this was not doing the population any good. So what did the city fathers do? They went to Wales. They bought a Welsh valley with a lake in it. And then they built a, a pipeline, an aqueduct from Wales to Birmingham to supply the citizens of Birmingham with fresh water. That is how enterprising and canny the original Brummagers were. Uh, Brummagers, I, I hope I got that right, you guys in Birmingham. And now look at them. What a mess. And, and look at this. This is the latest of their uh, great creations. Not buying a, a Welsh valley and, and shipping water in for the good of their citizens, uh, but changing road names to Equality Road, Inspire Avenue, Destiny Road, Respect Way. Diversity Grove and Humanity Close. This is this is what they do. It's uh, <laughs> no surprise, I suppose, that Birmingham is a predominantly Labour council. They're the sort of people who come up with naming a place called Diversity Close. And, uh, they uh, they would have been calling it Nelson Mandela Way 20 years ago, just to show their diversity credentials. And let me tell you about their diversity credentials. One of the reasons Birmingham is in such a state is it has had to dish out millions of taxpayers' money in compensation to a substantial body of its workers of, which, of whom it has been taking advantage for, well, generations. Who is to blame for Birmingham City Council's dire financial situation? Well, it's been struggling to pay its bills and effectively declared itself bankrupt yesterday because it's wasting money on this stuff instead of on looking after its citizens. The council is in a position where it must fund the equal pay liability it has accrued to date, about £650 million. Pounds. It says it could be as much as £760 million, pounds, but it doesn't have the resources to do so. And uh, how did it manage to build up this sort of debt? Well, it goes like this. While image is all important, you know, diversity way, the real lives of ordinary people matter very little. Uh, what's been going on in Birmingham is not simply an attempt to cover up old-fashioned sexism with an over-enthusiasm for virtue signalling. The financial mess reveals another entrenched inequality and even more virulent prejudice. So uh, the authorities' uh, latest accounts show that uh, Deborah Cadman, uh, the chief executive, took home 184,000 and spare change last year, plus almost 40,000 pounds in pen pension contributions. But 
Uh, what else was going on was that while uh, the men, the plumbers, the electricians, those sorts of people were being given uh, bonuses on a regular basis, none of the women employed by the council, the care workers, the cleaners, all those, they weren't getting bonuses at all, at all, nothing. And this, when this was discovered, of course, uh, the council has to shell out, well, it's supposed to shell out uh, for what these women were owed in the same standard bonuses. I thought bonuses were supposed to come because of a particularly uh, a good work or something. No, no. Birmingham Council had a system whereby if you stayed in your job, you got a bonus if you were a man. If you were a woman, uh, you'll just carry on doing what you're doing, won't you? Because, well, now, why would this situation have developed in a predominantly Labour council? I have to make it absolutely clear here. Red in Britain means Labour. Blue means Conservative. And this gold colour means Liberal Democrat. So you can see that the outlying areas of Birmingham are um, the country-ish areas are conservative. That's no surprise. I, I, I do not know what happened here, but there's a, a couple of uh, Liberal Democrat and conservative right in the middle. I don't know how that happened. Uh, but yeah, you can see mostly they are the outlying areas and all of this solid Labour. And... Uh, Birmingham is a very ethnically mixed city. I think it's, you know, I think it's supposed to be the most ethnically mixed city in the United Kingdom. But I want to point something out here. Oh, before I do that, I'll tell you I'm Granny Opterix. I'm on YouTube, Rumble, Bitchute and Minds, and uh, also on Twitter and Gab, where I let you know when I've uploaded new videos. All the links are in the description, including links to donation sites if you want to use them. But you don't have to. What I would ask you to do is click that like button because that's supposed to help with the algorithm. They tell me that. I don't know how much it, it works, but please, it doesn't cost you anything. So give it a go anyway. And uh, what else? Yep. Subscribe. If you're on YouTube, remember, click the, uh, the, the, the bell button, which will assure you of notifications. All right. I thought... I would mention to you that uh, recently a race baiter who keeps turning up on television because she is the sort of person you love to hate. I'm not, I'm not going to name her. She doesn't deserve that. But she said that the Lucy Letby situation happened because of white privilege. I mean, that was a foul and disgusting thing to say. Just to recap, if you haven't been keeping up with British news, Lucy Letby is a nurse who has been convicted of killing six babies in the ward where she when she was in charge of them in the hospital. Uh, and, and the reason for this, according to this race beta, and you know I told you in a previous video about the power of humour, I don't know why people aren't laughing at this person more and just telling her she's a clown, uh, but they're not. They're sitting there interviewing her in all seriousness as she says that let be uh, got away with these murders so easily because she was white, whereas a, a black or um, Asian nurse would have been sacked straight away, which is not true as somebody else has made clear on another YouTube video, the groomers in places like Rochdale and Rotherham got away with it because they weren't white for so long, uh, because the police were terrified of being called racist. This is the Labour Council of Birmingham. There are... 101 councillors. And I noticed something. I just looked at them and I noticed something. So here we have uh, Akhlaq Ahmed and 
Salma, oh, Saima Ahmed. And uh, it appears they're related. They, uh, they appear to me to be husband and wife. Now, I know these names are quite common among people of Pakistani origin, so it might not be the case that they're husband and wife, but it could be as well. Now, I, I did have some notes here, and of course I can't find them now. One and two. All right, 44, 45, and 46. Mahmoud Hussein, Mumtaz Hussein, and Shabrana Hussein. Shabrana is a youngish woman, and Mumtaz and Mahmoud appear to be of an age. So I reckon that's not only husband and wife, but husband, wife, and daughter. All right, next is 57, 58, 59, and 60. Here we are. Uh, 57 is Amar Khan, Amar Khan, Ayub Khan, Maryam Khan, and Saqib Khan. I think they're probably all related as well, somehow or another. And the next one, is, again, it could be coincidence because Khan is also a fairly common name. Uh, 68, 69, and 70. Uh, Basharat Mahmud, Majid Mahmud, and Rashad Mahmud. Well, they could be related too. It appears to me that there, um, again, Mahmoud is quite a common name, but uh, I have here one, two, three, four examples in uh, these um, counsellors of people who all have the same family name. And if only two of them are uh, related families, that's two lots of related families on the same council. Now, if they had been white European types, no, no. If they had been white British ethnic origin, then people would have been talking about nepotism. But not because they're uh, uh, South Asian. They have got away with this. Now, it's true that the Asian community in Birmingham almost certainly vote tribally. That's a common practice in uh, all Asian communities in Asia, voting tribally. And they will see these people as uh, being interested in their interests rather in the, the greater good of Birmingham. I'm not saying this happens to all South Asians, but it does happen to a lot of them. And that's what's gone wrong with Birmingham Council, because there are other people in the Labour Council, uh, Roger Harmer, Deborah Harris, Kath Hartley, uh, all white Brits, so far as I know, I haven't looked at all of their photographs, who are afraid to say that these Pakistani origin councillors may not be actually that bothered about Birmingham as a place, but more about their tribal interests. I'm not saying all of them are. I am saying that this is a common enough uh, characteristic. And we don't know how many people in Birmingham have died or had stunted lives as a result of Birmingham Council's mismanagement of Birmingham City's finances and uh, general organisation. Do we now? So, Let's get back to the Letby case. There are questions about actually how many babies were killed. It's a terrible situation. Uh, you know, there's no way of minimizing the horror of what happened there in that hospital. But we don't know how many people have had their lives stunted or ended by Birmingham's mismanagement of its finances, 
or uh, mismanagement of its general organisation. We don't know how many children have slipped through the net in the care system there. We don't know how many families which depended on the money that their mother earned had uh, stunted prospects because their mothers weren't earning the same as uh, their male colleagues in these bonuses that turned up every so often. So we don't know how much misery Birmingham Council has actually caused and we will never know. And none of those councillors will ever be brought to book for it either. And the worst is that because they're pretty sure of their Labour vote, they might turn up in the council after the next elections. It's a horrific situation. But it's one of those situations which is so big, nobody dare talk about it. And indeed, because of the racial aspects of it, I um, have to be very careful about monetizing this video as well. I don't think I will. I don't think I'm going to even try. But I think somebody has to speak out about it. And answering uh, all of Birmingham's problems with race, that's not the answer. The answer is socialist ideology. That's where the problems start, and continue and end. And when I say that South Asians who vote tribally are causing part of the problem, that's true. But the fact is that the white councillors, the white British councillors, appear to outnumber the South Asian ones and they haven't actually stood up against the tribal voting. They haven't even mentioned it. And if they do, they probably would get a lot of indignation from their uh, less intelligent constituents. I don't know how anyone's going to fix this problem, frankly. If the government steps in, then what are they going to do? The Labour vote is going to stay the Labour vote, whatever they do. And it's the Labour councillors who are, well, putting ideology instead of human lives, which is very socialist indeed. Hmm. All right. Well, till next time. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Grambo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.